I think it's time we had a walkabout, you know, kind of looking at this program and seeing what is there, because I love the organization of Premier Elements 11. It is really well organized. Now, I've got it open. Let's start in the center. Elements programs have, like Photoshop and Premiere, have a quick and an expert mode. Now, the main difference between quick and expert, if you look down here at the timeline, is you get a lot more stuff down on the timeline, more control. But I want to tell you something about quick. Quick doesn't mean sloppy. You ever hear the expression, do you want it fast or do you want it good? I want it good, I want it fast. Quick is just another way of doing good stuff. Now, we will be spending most of our time in expert mode, but that doesn't mean we won't be going to quick mode, just simply because it's easier to do it there. Let's go to Expert for now. Now over on the left, you have Add Media and Project Assets. In Add Media, look at all the things that you can do here. Everything from bringing things in from Organizer, which we will be doing a lot of, to video cameras like flips, DVs, HDVs, DVD camera computer drives, webcams, files and folders, plain old cameras, just about anything you want. If you need it, you're going to be able to get it. Next to media is project assets. Now this is where your stuff will appear. So you say, well, I need this video on the timeline. I'm making that up, obviously. But you can drag it down, and boom, it's on your timeline. Let's close that out. Way over here, let's start at the top. There's the name of the project we're working on. You do have a save button. Of course, you also have that under the word file. Different place to get it. If it's a new project, when you click Save, it will ask you for a name and where you want it. If it's already created, it'll just save it. This button allows me to play a movie, assuming we had one, in full screen. This button is kind of cool. So let's say you have an HD kind of camera, and you shoot some photographs or some video of your baby's first steps. Now, my sister has never forgiven me, and I'm trying to be funny here, because I saw her baby's first steps, and she didn't. Now, being a videographer, I did record them, but apparently it's not the same thing. So you've got a little clip, 30 seconds, and it's your baby's first steps, and you have got to share this with all your relatives. So you come over here, and you add it from your camera. We'll talk about how you do that. Then you drag it down on the timeline. So you've consumed about 15 seconds. You then come over here and click this button and decide what you want to do with it. You want it web DVD? You want it online? You want it on your mobile phone or player? Boom, you've got it. So if the project is simple, it doesn't have to be complex. You might only be a couple of minutes into the project, and you can click a button and send it to the rest of the world. Just depends. We're going to do things a little bit more complicated, but you've got that. It's very easy. Now, moving on down, let me close this. You have an area for adjustments and for FX or effects. Now, we don't have anything, so there's nothing to apply, but that's where you do it. Over here on the left, you can add markers to the timeline. We'll be doing all this. Menus, beat markers, and timeline markers. you got a really complicated project. Putting markers where you need to get to can help you out. You've got buttons here to play it, pause it, rewind it. A render button to render it. This stuff here will make more sense when we get on the timeline with some actual videos because it will increase or decrease the width of the timeline to fit what you are doing. Down here, of course, you've got audio one. Let me do this. Let me come over here. We have video three, audio three, video two, audio two, video one, audio one, narration and soundtrack. All of these different areas for us to control. Over here is my favorite button in the whole world, undo. If life had an undo button, this would be a better world than redo. This button takes us to the organizer, and we'll be going there a lot. These buttons here on the action bar, this one's kind of neat. It's called Instant Movie. So let's go back to Baby's First Steps. You don't just want to publish it like you got it. If you click that button and you have something to work with, you could make it a holiday theme. You could make it a special occasion theme. There are a lot of different, quote-unquote, instant movies in there. Lots of fun. Your tools, well, do you want to freeze frame it? You want to work on audio? You want to make adjustments? All those are here. You got transitions. There are a ton of transitions, all kinds of things that you can do. Titles and text. Scrolling, anything you want, it's here. Effects. Music. 
Now, if you remember from the chapter when we talked about organization, we told the computer when we used Organizer to bring in the music. This is more music. This comes from Adobe Premiere Elements. And finally, you have graphics. 